Hi there. I promised you guys yesterday that we will be recording the telephone conversation between Joe Biden and Xi Jinping. I'm a bit late because I'm traveling and while traveling only I am making this video. So I read the press release by from the Chinese foreign ministry and also that tweet of Joe Biden which was being retweeted by the state department which said that he had a telephonic conversation with Chinese president Xi Jinping and uh, uh, there in the tweet they were he was talking about that he has talked to him regarding uh, improving and using the channels of communications so it looks that uh, it doesn't went well for United States and Mr. Joe Biden and uh, when you read the press release by China, the Foreign Ministry of China, it was uh, a very hard ball they were playing. Two things which I very prominently noted was number one, they talked about both sides of the state of Taiwan belonging to China and number two, uh, one thing they said that uh, uh, those who play with fire will vanish. So they are putting their claim that Taiwan belongs to them and uh, uh, they, will, they will go, they may use force. This means that they may use force to achieve their goal. Plus, they also, they are giving warning to United States that you are playing with fire because this comes after the so-called prescribed upcoming visit of Nancy Pelosi to the island nation of Taiwan and I said that uh, uh, Americans won't go there because they are having military might, they are having economic might but they are not having guts and yesterday this thing became apparent. In the previous video I said that Nancy Pelosi won't be going and soon you will find that the, these guys Americans will put this travel on the back burner they won't accept they won't say any date that she is going on this date but they won't even deny that she's not going and this is going to happen but uh, after these press releases i can say that america is playing very very weak and they are looking weak as well which is not good because china dominating the world order is not good because a world dominated by China will be really really ugly one and uh, ask me what's on stake for America I say everything everything meaning not only just their hegemony or their powerful status across the globe but also their economy is on stake why because if China is uh, threatening United States and uh, by the due to the threats of China Nancy Pelosi is not going and if she is not going then even the dollar system is on stake because the US dollar is not backed by anything and not backed by anything means it's not backed by gold reserves or silver reserves or stuff like that it is backed by nothing and not and backed by nothing means it is backed by the hegemony of United States which is being backed by the military might and military power of United States and when United States will look weak the dollar will also go weak it's not going to happen in one day it's a process and it's a gradual process so if America want to save the dollar system it's, if it want to save its power its economic might its hegemony then Nancy Pelosi must go and America must play from the position of strength and unfortunately the press release and the tweet and the retweet it of yesterday it shows that China was playing hardball whereas America was playing on the weaker wicket which I don't want because I don't want to see China playing hardball and I don't want to see China dominating the world order. Thank you.